Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. That's how I start all my lives. Because we don't know what time it is, where you are, or when you're watching this. And I just wanted to thank everybody who, I'll have to go back and respond to the comments, who commented on my hair. This is my natural hair state. Um, I have very untamable hair, so I generally just straighten it because it's easier. But I thought, I'm gonna rock the curls for a few days because it is truly my personality, a little wild and crazy, and that's just how I am. Uh, yeah, if you don't always already subscribe to my YouTube channel, I invite you to do that. I'll post the link above because that really helps. And then like and share and any videos out there, I post almost every one of my lives from the group into YouTube. And I'm going to, uh, the next step in my plan is to start just creating YouTube videos. So once my subscription rate gets up higher, I'm just gonna go live on YouTube because that is so much fun. I love live on YouTube, it's awesome. But hi, welcome to all the new members, anybody who catches this or anywhere that I've posted this. My name is Becky. Um, I am a healer. I, I'm an intuitive guide. I work with ascension. I work with self-concept. I take the spiritual and I meld it with the metaphysical and like tangible. I have a science background, a science and engineering background. So for me, I need something tangible to explain to others because when I started my journey, there is a lot of like two sides to the coin and I found some really great teachers that I really dug into. And the one that I'm really digging right now is Neville Goddard and there's a few others that teach what he does and really what he teaches is the law of assumption. So the law of assumption states that everyone is us pushed out, that we create with our mind, with our sixth sense, with our, in, like, with our mind, with our imagination. And I've talked about this a lot recently, but it is so true because I've been really working with it. Like I'm a very successful person in many areas of my life. One area that I've struggled, and I use that term lightly, in my life, and I, I'd always have relationships, but they were never great relationships. Like I'd have these long relationships and then they would, They'd be really good in the beginning and then they would not. And I realized that that's all down to me. Those are those limiting beliefs that are programmed in my subconscious mind that would come up and haunt me. And I didn't even realize they were running. It's that background noise that's running in our being. And so I've just been really working in that. And I want to teach that to you guys, how powerful it is. And it doesn't have to be in relationships. It can be in any facet of your life, whether it's business, whether it's like family, anything. It's all based on our beliefs. So if we start to tell ourselves a story that's different than what's happening on the outside, instead of controlling the outside circumstance, the 3D, that's how we shift. When we react and we control the 3D, we're just giving that more energy, we're giving them more power. What we need to do is go within. And I've always taught that. I've always taught go within and everybody's a mirror to our own inner turmoil or happiness and joy, whatever's going on within us and parts of us. So just really applying this to my life recently has been so cool because I've seen huge shifts. Um, I've seen huge shifts in manifestation. I've seen huge shifts in relationships around me. I've seen huge shifts with myself because it's like once you, you know, when you start telling yourself these things to start with, if there is a limiting belief behind that, like say you're trying to tell yourself you're awesome and you're worthy and you're valued and supported, things like that. And if you've never had any evidence to support that or your mind thinks you have it, it's going to be really hard to continue that narrative. But what you do is you have to persist in that and keep telling that to yourself. When something in the 3D is reflecting what you don't want, you go within and you start rewriting what is going on in the 3D. And I'm not shitting you, it will shift. And things will shift quickly. Um, that being said, everyone is you pushed out. Everyone is you pushed out. You are the operant power. You are the creator of everything going on around you. Everybody in your reality has to conform to your thoughts and your processing and your beliefs. And it's a really funny thing because we talk about this free will uh, and there is free will in their reality, but in your reality, they need to conform to what you're thinking. And it might sound woo woo and it might sound weird, but the more I apply this, the more it, it makes sense and it happens. Because how many times have you created something either great or not great in your mind? I'll tell you a story. So I went to, I was looking for some new collagen supplement to take. Cause I was like, okay, I need something new to put in my coffee. 
and I was researching it and I found this brand, this exact brand, and I was gonna buy it on Amazon because I don't really wanna go shopping if I don't have to. And I went to Winners the other day. So Winners is like TJ Maxx if you're from the States. Um, and I was looking around and I'm not kidding you, I look on the shelf and there is that exact brand for half the price that on Amazon. And I was like, manifestation because I set that intention and I sort of left it. And I, it's like things that you don't have resistance to in your mind come in really quickly and easily. It's the beliefs that we have resistance to. So for me, I had, you know, some childhood trauma, which most of us had. My dad left when I was really young. I didn't know him. So I have this belief that men are bad, or I did. Men are, like, they leave us. They are, you know, all these things about men. And these aren't even beliefs I was conscious about. So I'd create horrible relationships with all the men in my life whether my stepdad my brother everybody even like friendships like they'd be really good and then they weren't they would always I don't want to use the word abandon but that's always what I would create in my reality because that's what I knew that's what I knew so I went in and I started rewriting that saying that they're always there for me people always want to you know assist me people love me and just things like this and things shift but you have to persist in like in your affirmations in that mindset until it hardens into fact and until it becomes that dominant thought form because what will happen is we will say it to ourselves once or twice and if that has programs been running for 40 some years like i'm 40 so it's been running probably since i was four three or four when all these things happen and then I, I compounded more experiences on top of it to solidify that in my mind it is a deep-rooted program so I have to continually be mindful and work on it this is the power of our mind so I'll go into it a little more depth uh, maybe in another video if anybody wants to know and if anybody needs any assistance this is what I teach now so I'm like no nonsense and I want to help you and assist you in this journey of rewriting your thoughts of getting in deep and understanding what it is that is holding you back from your divinity because we're all seeds of this divine essence and when we realize how powerful we are as creators with our mind we realize how the only person who's been getting in our way the whole lives and stopping us from being amazing versions of ourselves is ourself. And when we do that and we let go of the victim mentality and we really go within, your life will change. So that being said, the 555 Portal Shifting Consciousness, which I am in the middle of rebranding this course, um, but it's a great course. It's gonna stay very much the same. Um, of course, every time I teach a course, things shift a little bit because it's like as we shift we all shift as we learn I learn when I teach each time I teach a course this course is eight weeks it's deep diving into all these childhood wounds these limiting beliefs our subconscious conscious and super conscious mind alignment the masculine and feminine the divine masculine and feminine each week we go into a topic you get pdfs um, each week so we go into a topic it's live over zoom and then I do a healing session or a meditation almost every week just to really get these beliefs rewritten in your subconscious. And I teach you ways to really ascend your life. It's called the 555 Portal Shifting Consciousness. It's all about living an empowered life, getting out of victim mentality, getting out of our own way, and a very tangible way of understanding the spiritual essence of who we are. The spiritual essence of everything around us. All is mind. That is one of the hermetic principles. All is mind. The world is mental. And not mental in a crazy way. But we are all connected through the mind. We create through the mind. We are the mind. Look up the hermetic principles. They are life-changing and amazing. So I love you. I got to run. I just wanted to come on and say hi and wish everybody an amazing day. Because where I am in Calgary, we just came out of like a minus 30 or lower deep freeze and we are chinooking if you don't know what a chinook is google it we have amazing cool weather here we'll go for minus 30 one day to plus 15 the next it's a little hard on our heads because there's lots of barometric pressure swings but it's like really neat weather patterns that we only have in this part of the world but we are above zero today it's beautiful i'm gonna go enjoy some time out and i'm gonna take myself shopping because i never do that and i'm like you know what screw this i am leveling up i'm gonna go level up my wardrobe too anyway if you want to join any of my courses link is above i will link it above when i post this uh all my offerings are there any groups and i love you if you ever have any questions feel free to reach out. I'm always just a messenger message away and I'm happy to support you in your journey any way I can. Love you.